In the quaint town of Willow Creek, nestled in the rolling hills of the countryside, a bitter rivalry had been brewing between two families for generations. The Smiths and the Joneses had always been at odds, their animosity towards each other running so deep that it seemed to seep into the very fabric of their community. For Emily Smith, a beautiful and fiery young woman with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, the Joneses were the embodiment of everything she despised. Her family's long-standing feud with them had taught her to distrust and dislike anyone who bore the Jones name. She had grown up hearing stories of her ancestors' bitter disputes with the Jones family, and she had inherited their hatred. Across town, in a grand estate that seemed to stretch on forever, lived James Jones, a charming and handsome young man with a quick smile and a silver tongue. His family's history with the Smiths was equally checkered, with tales of broken promises and shattered dreams. James had grown up hearing stories of his ancestors' conflicts with the Smiths, and he had learned to view them as nothing more than a distant memory. The two families' animosity towards each other had become so ingrained that it seemed to define the very identity of their town. People would whisper about the Smiths and Joneses in hushed tones, as if they were two rival gangs vying for control. It was a rivalry that had been passed down through generations, and one that neither side seemed willing to let go of. But on a fateful summer evening, everything changed. It started with a simple mistake. Emily, who had just returned to Willow Creek after a year abroad, was driving home from the local library when she accidentally crashed into James's car. The impact was minor, but the damage was significant. Emily's car was totaled, and James's was left with a dented fender. As the two young people exchanged apologies and insurance information, their initial animosity gave way to a spark of attraction. They stood there, locked in a gaze that seemed to hold a thousand unspoken words. I'm so sorry. Emily said, her voice barely above a whisper. I wasn't watching where I was going. It's okay, James replied, his eyes crinkling at the corners as he smiled. These things happen. As they stood there, the tension between them began to dissipate. They started talking, really talking, for the first time in their lives. Emily learned that James was not just a pretty face. He was kind, intelligent, and genuinely interested in getting to know her. And James discovered that Emily was not just a fiery redhead, she was witty, charming, and possessed a quick intelligence that left him breathless. Their first date was a disaster. They went to the local diner, where they spent more time arguing over the menu than actually eating. But as the night wore on, their banter turned flirtatious, and they found themselves lost in conversation. It was a turning point. For the first time in their lives, Emily and James saw each other as individuals rather than representatives of their family's long-standing feud. They began to realize that there was more to each other than just a shared history of hatred. As the weeks turned into months, their relationship blossomed. They started going on long walks, having deep conversations, and exploring the town together. Emily introduced James to her love of literature and music while James taught Emily how to cook and appreciate the simple things in life. But their love was not without its challenges. The Smiths and Joneses were not about to let their family's feud die without a fight. They began to conspire against Emily and James, trying to drive a wedge between them. James is just using you, Emily's mother warned her. He's got a reputation for being charming, but he's not good enough for you. He's just like all the other Joneses, Emily's father sneered. They're all the same, charming but ultimately untrustworthy. But Emily and James were determined to make their relationship work. They stood up to their families, refusing to let the animosity between them tear them apart. In the end, it was a choice they made together. To choose love over hate and to forge their own path in life. They realized that their family's feud was just a small part of the larger tapestry of human experience. And as they stood together, hand in hand, they knew that their love would conquer all. Years later, as they looked back on their journey, Emily and James knew that their unlikely romance had changed them both forever. They had learned to see beyond the hate and the anger, and to find love in the most unexpected places.
And as they sat on their porch, watching the sunset over the rolling hills of Willow Creek, they knew that their love story would be one for the ages, a tale of hate turned to love and the power of true devotion.